in the last sort of two years and, and well, not so much on physical hardware because I don't really have a proper test computer, but yeah. I have done a bit on here and mainly with Ubuntu because I used to use Ubuntu and that's the one people have been going on about, so I want to like see what, what's going to go happening there. Uh, yeah. not, not so much for what will come 11, 10.10. 10. Uh, I might find virtual machine Unity because I know you can, and if it's done right, you can like virtual box the Unity, the Unity 3D and Ubuntu 11.04. Yeah, I was hoping yeah. we'd speak about it after the, uh, after we have a small break because we've had this discussion for a long, very long time, uh, and we have quite yeah. a few songs we want to play. So the first long song I'm going to play today, uh, is being sung by, uh, La Santa Cecilia, and the name of the song is Clever. <laughs> protegidos de la Santa Cecilia por los que sienten la inspiración por dar un hilo por los que se sienten al borde de un abismo este es un llamado para todos los que fueron son y serán muchachos With uh, a bit more of a discussion, actually, with uh, Sebastian, uh, we we're talking about Magia for those who are just joining us. <laughs> and then, yeah, so, Magia and other. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think it was fair enough to actually try and compare it to some of the mainstream uh, uh, perceptions about what the desktop means, because of course Magia, as far as I know, is not a server distribution or not not really aiming at something like the embedded market, or is it? Um, Wait, I think maybe I'm wrong. So uh, I think what the 
I mean, it's, I think it's mainly aimed at. I think it's mainly aimed at the desktop at the moment. Yeah. But, uh, but obviously, it could be run as a server operating system or something like that as well. Does Mandriva still sell and market the uh, what they used to have called Mandriva Server? I think they had version five. I or... think they might go. As for Mandriva, I think they might not be doing server. I think PowerPack might still be there. But when I look on the Mandriva site, it's like it's still going on about 2010.2 PowerPack. So it's like what? You got 2011 now. Why are you still mentioning 2010.2? Well, the PowerPack was the old business model that they had, and I remember when I was using Ubuntu, uh, Mandriva, as I'll mention later, uh, I I had I'd seen the uh, pushes or the small nags trying to get you to buy the uh, PowerPack to pay for a improve, somewhat improved uh, uh, version of it. And Mandriva the problem is... they had is that the pen drive. It was the period when they tried to sell pen drives with it. And there was the time when, I would say around 2007 and 8, they were still having some releases of uh, Mandriva Server. I don't really know how many of those they sold or licensed or whatever, uh, but I, I don't think of, to, uh, I might get flagged for it, but I don't really think of Mandriva as a distro where I'd expect to have uh, server packages. And I'll tell you why, because a few years back I was trying to install MySQL on it, and from what my recollection, I, this is like from way back in 2008, 2009, I, I was told I have to buy the bearer, like the, uh, to upgrade to a paid version to get access to certain packages. And one of them was my, MySQL. I just think, oh gosh, you know, what the hell? And I just go to the site and it's really hard to get the packages. And I'm just trying to install a fairly basic package to run a, you know, on a desktop. I, mean, I just wanted to test my databases to, to make sure my backups are working okay. Uh, I couldn't do it. I, I just couldn't get it to 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 uh, to install it, even though it's uh, it's you know. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, server server Linux is beautiful. I mean, yeah. You, yeah, you wouldn't really think Mandriva as being a server operating system. Well, well, if you compare the competition, you don't have any very compelling reason to do so to choose Mandriva. No. Others. Yeah. There's D, there's uh, Debian, obviously. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, CentOS. I, I think CentOS isn't really being. I, I don't. I don't really follow it, but I, I think I was thinking oh. about CentOS not really being made as much anymore. or Something. So there's this scientific Linux, which I think is forked off CentOS. I'm not exactly sure. No, it's sure. similar in since it clones uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Uh, and uh, then there's currently uh, the 5.7, and I think they haven't done 6.0 yet. Maybe Scientific has done 6.0, but oh, sorry, 6.0 is, is right. Just like. In, I don't know, beta version or something. But uh but they, 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 they kind of recently CentOS has been getting flagged for being a bit slow when it comes to making the free version of Red Hat uh, uh distros, the the commercial distros. Yeah, and then there's obviously the the sushi could be used as a sub operating system obviously and then Yeah, so Suza Suza is a uh is uh, basically the distro I, I say you choose if you choose and insist on paying Microsoft to say, hey Microsoft, you're using Linux and we'd like to pay you as well. Yeah, and yeah, but that's Microsoft the... Go, and Microsoft say, hey, go to Novell, you know, they sell you the distro if you want to, uh, to use it. Uh, that, that's just basically the... Uh, so, yeah, so but I, that's not the open suit, uh, zoo, zoo, zoo yeah. what it's called, is it? Yeah, it's, the, uh, it's the enterprise one, isn't it? If, if yeah, well, there is less and sled and it's just... Uh, uh, SUSE, SUSE, uh Linux Enterprise I mean, Server. O- Open SUSE is a, or whatever it's called, is supposed to be a pretty good distribution. I mean, I've tried that out in like from a a, a live DVD that came with some Linux magazine. Like, it was like a some sort of development. Yeah. Like it's like yeah, I looked at Yast and it's like what? How are you supposed to use Yast? This isn't like um some package some- manager or. Or uh, the, if you like, bunch of, well, I didn't really think bunch of software is handling that. Sure, it's not really like yes, that. Yes, yes, to goes a very long way back, and I think. And it's not uh, like um, the RPM Drake, which um, Mandriva and Magia, and I believe um, must be PC Linux OS as well. Uh, they and um, probably Unity Linux and so on. RPM Drake. It's that reminds me, Mandriva apparently going to work on a new package manager as well. Oh, no, that's never well, done, that's been. never been done before. A package no, pa- manager. Let's do another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, apparently they were gonna. Uh, I've had something about how something about how they were apparently working on new. I think Zero Installer was one of the latest one to kind of officially announce. You know, we're kind of giving up because every person is like, this is the one. This is the this is the universal installer. And then you have like loads of people saying that, and it's it's just becoming a bit messy. But I think um, Mandriva's website, looking at it now, is, is the homepage. It, I just it doesn't really. If I was a, if I was somebody new to 
uh, desktop Linux. I mean, even now with somebody who's experienced, and you know, it, it doesn't really, it wouldn't really bring lure me into the distro and be like, make me think, oh yeah, I should, I should download. It's just like new section.